All right, everybody. So we're going to go over the liquify tool. And I'll show you some of the most used tools within the liquify feature, within the liquify tool that I use. So liquify, to get to liquify, you're going to go to filter and you're going to select liquify right here. And what the tool allows you to do is to ma manipulate, in this case, parts of the body or even the hair. On the left hand side you have a ver variety of tools that are used within the liquify function and on the right hand side there is a ton of properties. B to be quite honest I don't mess with th the properties section almost I, I almost never mess with this section. Um, the only thing I deal with there's really two main tools the forward warp tool and the reconstruct tool. There's a variety of others some might I don't use and some I do use um, in a limited fashion and let's just kind of go over the main one so the forward warp tool is the main tool that I use and what you can do with it is it gives you this cursor the circle cursor and you can uh, expand it and shrink it using the bracket keys on your keyboard okay I'm using a tour box as well so that's why it, it looks like it's moving very fluidly for me I have a little knob that I'm using to adjust. But the bottom line is, let's say the model or your subject, and this happens in boudoir a lot and glamour, let's say they, they want you to tuck their tummy in a little bit. They want to appear as though they're a little more fit than they were during the shoot. Well, if you go to the forward warp tool, let's say the model asked me to kind of push her tummy in, then you can do that. I've had some models ask me to um, make their butts look bigger, <laughs> and that's the truth. So what you can do in that case, and you know, whenever I use Liquify, I try my best to keep it as realistic as possible. But so he, in, in this case, let's just make her rump a little more rounder, and we can maybe pop out that booty a little more. So something to that uh, to that degree, right? And then there's a preview option, and you can turn off and on the preview uh, to see the changes that you've made. Now another really useful feature or another useful way to use Liquify is to fix hair issues. So let's say I want to fix this hair. We have a hair that's kind of going out and down where the rest of it looks rather straight and linear. This one is being rogue. So let's use the forward warp tool here to see if we can reshape the hair to something a little more pleasing so where it's not standing out a little uh, as much. So there we go, something like that. Now, with the forward war warp tool, let's go back, let's see if I can go back a couple of steps. I wanted to affect just this hair, but as you saw, the forward warp tool it's circular and on occasion you will affect other things that you may not want to. So what you can do is use the reconstruct tool, this option right here, to reconstruct what you affected that you did not want to affect. So let's say I want to get this hair back the way it was. So I can do this, something like this. Okay. It's very useful. That happens quite often when you get down to um, uh, where you're changing, where you're affecting the waist or shrinking the waist and the arm gets changed. You don't want to affect the arm so much. Or you, here's a perfect example. The, the, when I made the change, it affected the shape of her fingernail here. Right? So what I can do is bust out for, or sorry, reconstruct and get that back the way it was. Okay, So those are the two main tools. Now there's a couple of others that I've used on occasion but not often. So one is called the bloat tool and I have had models that have asked me to increase the size of their breasts. So you can, what you do is you you select the bloat tool, it, it also gives you a circle icon, 
and you this will bloat or enlarge the area that you're you're selecting right and you just all you got to do is hold down the mouse key or your mouse button and it will blow it up so let's take it now I'm gonna exaggerate this a little bit so you can see the the, the effect so that's a that's an effect of using the bloat tool you can obviously just to show you what it's doing is it's increasing the size of the middle portion of the photo or the middle portion of the selection and it kind of feathers out and doesn't affect the periphery as much it's really main, it's really the main middle section that's the only time that I've used the bloat tool is to increase the size of the model's breast to the client's breasts at their request there's a number of other uh, options here new newer ones like the face tool and okay so liquify is saying it's not detecting any faces but if it were to detect the face what you could do is go over to face aware and start using these options let me give you an example of where it can detect the face and maybe we can make some adjustments okay so we're going to go to filter and liquify all right so here we can see it's detecting the face like right out of the gate it's pretty obvious that you know this is being recognized by Photoshop and we can start messing with stuff so this is a newer feature what it does is it gives you these handles and you can independently affect the eyeballs in this case so and then the smile as well it looks like you can, again you can get really ridiculous with this <laughs> where it just does not look real um, but that's the idea right so you can change the face the, the, the nose height which I don't think we want to do her nose height is perfectly fine you can increase the width of the nose if you wanted to or slim it down so yeah you can have a lot of fun with this and that is the face recognition or face aware uh, liquify function within the liquify tool so I hope that kinda gets you started again two main tools that I always use and that's probably why they're at the top of the list that why Adobe put them at the top of the list is a forward warp and the reconstruct tool